captain of a Royal Navy warship in the Red Sea has told the BBC that the attacks are becoming more deadly, with the Houthis in Yemen launching more ballistic and cruise missiles which are harder to defend against. The Houthis say they are targeting merchant vessels and warships in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza. Our defence correspondent Jonathan Beale is the first journalist to join the destroyer HMS Diamond while facing the threats in the Red Sea. Security, security, security. This is Coalition Warship listening Channel 16. The Royal Navy's HMS Diamond sailing in the Red Sea towards danger. They're here to protect merchant shipping and for this mission to escort a naval task group. And they're armed and ready. This task group has now entered the high threat area. And as you can see, they're preparing to run the gauntlet with the Houthis. In the operations room, the ship's nerve center, they've already donned fire protective clothing. With their powerful radar, they can track multiple objects from hundreds of miles away. And this is what happens when they identify a threat. Five bomb, two nine three, and 165 lots of work. The drills they've rehearsed many times before. Air threat warning, red, air threat warning, red. Missile inbound to the ship. Starboard quarter. Time to go, two minutes. But now it's deadly serious. This, one of two occasions we witnessed when the Houthis fire ballistic missiles, travelling at more than three times the speed of sound. Assess the uh, missile has uh, splashed in the water north of the task group. Therefore, air threat warning now yellow, air threat warning now yellow. Between the time it's fired and by the time it impacts, you've got about two minutes to react. That's why we're in state two, that's why we're wearing our clothing all the time, so that within that time frame, we'll be in absolutely the right uh, posture to be able to deal with those. But yeah, it can feel a bit intense, obviously, if someone's trying to potentially shoot something at you. Houthi drones are the other danger. That's a uh, UAV now on uh, bearing 350 Ranger. And he's now got two airborne in the north. Uh, obviously, you know, our position now, they, we anticipate they may come south. Air threat warning is white weapons. It's a potentially deadly version of hide and seek, but the drone doesn't spot them. This time, Diamond hasn't fired its main Sea Viper missiles, but it's already shot down nine drones, seven of them in just one night in January. And that sort of, that sort of red... Diamond's captain believes they have saved lives, but they haven't stopped increasingly sophisticated Houthi attacks. It seems to me that they're using more advanced and more lethal weapons than they were in the earlier parts of the operation. And where are they getting those from? I, I couldn't tell you that, I'm afraid. I guess they're smuggled in from somewhere, but I'd be speculating. But Diamond is looking out for suspicious activity. They board a Dow. It's declared stateless, but it's flying an Iranian flag. The search finds nothing illegal. It's proving just as hard to stem the flow of weapons as to stop the Houthi attacks. Jonathan Beale there.